chapter wise list of all my videos is available at this point for dvd pen drive please write an email to me these videos they do not require internet they play offline there is no problem of buffering and please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you thank you for your support once again in this lecture we will find out the sum and product of the roots of a quadratic equation so supposing this is a quadratic equation that has been given to us this equation our objective is to find out the sum of the roots of this equation whatever those roots are and we also have to find out the product of the roots of the equation whatever those are now one method is to actually solve this equation find out the roots let us suppose the roots come out to minus 3 and minus 2 then to add them you simply write minus 3 minus 2 minus 5 and multiply them whatever the answer comes that is a longer method what i am talking right now is how to do it by the shorter and simpler method so that you don't have to solve the complete equation this complete equation happens to be simpler it can be solved orally also but if a complicated equation like this reaches now solving this is going to be any nightmare this question will be very difficult to solve and then finding the sum and product would be even more complicated there are simpler formulas that will help you reach the end point so let us see how we can reach at those those formulas and how we can use our knowledge to find out the sum and product of the roots of the equation sometimes the question could be also to find the sum of reciprocals of squares of the roots now this is even more complicated so what he in effect means is that if one root is alpha the other root is beta suppose these are some numbers alpha and beta then he says we have to find out 1 by alpha square plus 1 by beta square this is sum of reciprocals of squares of roots this is square reciprocal of square of first root this is reciprocal of square of second root we have to find this sum now this sum can be calculated by a shortcut method but if you have to go for a longer method then you will have to first of all calculate you will solve this equation find out alpha and beta and then put them in this and then calculate that's going to waste a lot of time let us see how we can do all this in a shortcut way it is very easy to obtain the formula by for the shortcut method so i am going to actually solve the formula for you so that you can understand even deeper although you can remember the formula later on but let us solve that formula and find out for ourselves the shortcut method consider this supposing this is the most standard form of the quadratic equation this has a b and c my scheme is to find out the sum in terms of a b and c so in case i will be able to arrive at a formula that connects a b and c and if i am given a question a complicated question like this 72x square plus 73x plus 2 equal to 0 if i am given a complicated question like this then i will be able to match this a with 72 b will be matched with 73 c will be matched with 2 then i will be matching a b and c and then i will put these values into that formula directly so i will not be required to pass through 
the whole process of finding the roots i'll simply have to make substitutions of a b and c into that formula so let me tell you how that formula is reached how we can reach but even then you will have to remember that formula so let us derive that formula first of all we know that this is the most standard form of the quadratic equation we also know from our previous lecture that one of the roots let us call it alpha alpha is a greek symbol that is usually used to denote the first root of this equation so let alpha be minus b plus square root of d divided by 2a now you already know that what is d here we we already from the previous lecture know that d is a short form for b square minus 4ac and the second root for this as we found out in the previous chapter was minus b minus square root of d by 2a again d in this case is same as b square minus 4ac now let us add the two roots so what will the addition be alpha plus beta will become equal to minus b by 2a plus square root of d by 2a plus i will explain each thing in a moment but let me write it all what i have done is i have split this b plus square root of d into two parts i brought 2a below below b and 2a below square root of d i have done the same thing for beta also brought this and brought this now we can observe that square root of d by 2a and minus square root of d by 2a can be cancelled out plus and minus whereas these two are same quantities being added twice so we can write them as 2 multiplied by minus b by 2a which eventually becomes 2 and 2 also cancel minus b by a which is the formula for the sum of the roots of a general quadratic equation now you can observe that this formula has been simplified to ground zero so this is how the whole formula actually comes about which many training institutes they say you to mug up and all but this is the whole process in which this formula has actually been found out with our luck we were able to cancel these out and that led us to a simpler formula so if we know the values of b and a then we can without solving a quadratic equation find out the sum of the roots of that equation similarly it is possible to multiply these two roots and then use that formula a plus b into a minus b and use that all calculation so finally you do arrive at this result that the product of the roots is given by a simpler formula called c by a so i'll summarize sum of roots is equal to minus b by a and product of roots is equal to c by a so let us now apply our newly obtained knowledge to this tougher question the sum of roots we can see is minus b by a so let us first of all isolate a b and c from this equation we see that a is 72 b is 73 and c is 2 so we can compare this equation with this one and we find that these are the values of a b and c so sum is minus b by a which is equal to minus 73 by 72 so this hasn't taken even a millisecond to me and similarly product is equal to c by a which is equal to 2 by 72 which is 1 by 36 let us now apply this knowledge 
to find out the sum and product of various combinations of the roots of a quadratic equation. Okay, so he says find out the sum of the roots of this quadratic equation. Find the sum of roots of this quadratic equation. Now if somebody has to go through the longer method, then this quadratic equation has no solution. An examiner might put a question like this which is very tricky. If you try to solve this equation x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0 with a equal to 1, b equal to 1, c equal to 1, then you will very soon find that b square minus 4ac in this case is 1 minus 4 into 1 into 1 is equal to minus 3 which is negative. So a solution for this does not exist does not exist for real numbers. It is outside the domain. So any normal candidate or a student is going to be highly confused with this one. This looks like a simple question but no answer can be found out if you simply try to use the longer method because roots cannot be found out. So let us try to find the sum of roots by the formula. We just now see that formula is minus b by a. So these are the steps. Sum of roots is minus b by a and comparing with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. What is b? b is 1 and c is also, uh, sorry, a is required, a is 1, b and a are both 1, therefore sum of the roots is equal to minus 1 by 1 is equal to minus 1 is the answer. Let us take even more complicated questions where he says find the sum of squares of the reciprocals of the roots of a quadratic equation. Let us take more challenging questions.